Hey everybody, it's uh, Brian from QuantLabs.net. Uh, I'm coming off a bunch of books for HFT strategies and all that good stuff. One more book to go. But um, one of the learnings I'm coming away with is uh, ultra high frequency. It's not about high frequency trading anymore. It's about ultra high frequency trading, meaning we are going to be focusing, or at least I'll be focusing on uh, trading a tick level of sub seconds not one minute not five minute but within milliseconds that's where the opportunities lie and that's where I intend to focus uh, this new HFT platform that I'll be building implementing or whatnot um, so there's a number of challenges that are ahead of me first is it dot net versus Linux uh, and where do I deploy on obviously dot net it's Windows if it's Linux well I have the ability to do whatever there's a few pros and cons of each the uh, platform that I'm looking at and investigating, which looks very good, meets all my requirements, is .NET. So I'm stuck in the Windows world. The other uh, is um, Linux. With, but the problem is with Linux, there's very well, there's virtually no uh, open source uh, high frequency trading platforms out there, with the exception of Market Setter, but that's a Java base, and it's somewhat limiting because it only allows you to code up your strategies in Ruby and uh, or Java. So that's kind of like not where I'm wanting to go. And plus on the open source model, they only limit you to equities and I believe it's futures or whatever it is, options um, to trade with. But if you want to get into the other asset classes, you have to have a uh, commercial license for it, which is very expensive. So that throws that out. So back to my open source.net trading platform. Looks good, beats all the requirements, but again, um, it's a where do I deploy them because I could see myself building clusters of these things as well as multiple listeners and multiple um, uh, multiple uh, ways to route um, the trades through multiple ECN networks I mean this is eventually so I don't want to have to do a rewrite a year or two years down the line if I have to I'd rather keep it one start it out and do it right at the beginning so comes back to that challenge of do I go with something like a Windows HPC or do I go with a Linux kind of environment now I do know that Linux is very fast a lot of from the chatter I've been getting on LinkedIn and various other sources is that uh, what a lot of these uh, boutique HFT firms do is they uh, basically download the kernel from kernel.org the Linux kernel and compile and heavily heavily hack and modify their own version of um, a very small version of Linux. Um, personally, I don't want to go down that path because, again, that takes up a lot of my resources and a lot of my time to get it to that level. So I kind of like to look for open source proven models that are out there. So again, it comes back to uh, this this uh, open source trading platform that I'm working with, and that only pretty well leaves me on Windows HPC. So it comes back to that debate of Windows HPC versus um, Linux and clusters and which one works better and which one's more in, uh, intelli the intelligent way to go. So right now um, I've done some research. Uh, Linux looks awesome but you have to virtually build from the ground up everything, all the different components. The problem I'm having with Linux is the community and the maturity it's just not as uh, as, as picking it up w compared to getting up and running with a Windows community or Windows environment. Um, finding an open source is kind of complicated in a way where you're kind of left on your own devices where you're spinning your wheels more. I like to get stuff up and running real fast so I can focus on what I want to do. Make money through trades. But you have to build the right environment. So it comes back to the HFT, or sorry, the uh, HPC versus um, is it going to be on Windows HPC or a Linux cluster kind of environment. There's two very good papers that I have on the website at quantlabs.net on the Linux side. Awesome. It's all open source. Looks great. TASC runs off of that same architecture. But here's the thing with Windows HPC. It looks like you can easily deploy stuff very quickly um, and very easily. It's highly secure, but for me, I'm not, I don't know. I just don't see security being a very big concern because I don't have external uh, staff. I'm not going to be putting this openly on the internet. So that that logic is not um, an argument to me at, at all. It's not a topic to be discussed. But in terms of performance, 
the Windows Edge PC versus Linux. I've done some research. Just go to the link on this video to the Quant Lab site. Uh, it'll take you to a post of all the different articles. So I'm not trying to favor Windows versus Linux. I'm trying to be neutral, but I'm trying to be smart and make the smart decision as I deploy this HFT platform and the environment that will go with it, or basically your ecosystem. And I'm led to believe and convinced that the new Windows HPC 2008 is, and it rivals the Linux anything out there. Um, that's a fairly new update coming from Microsoft, so I have no affiliation with Microsoft. I have no, this is not a commercial for Microsoft, but that's a path I'm going. The only reason that I'm going down that path is because of this HFT open source platform. It's Windows and it's .NET, so it makes me it has gives me the ability to migrate into that uh, Windows HPC environment, hopefully seamlessly, or even if I can't, I still have the code through the .NET 4 library to give me access to the HPC um, uh, resources out there to really take advantage of all the different parallelization that can come out of using the uh, HF HFT open source platform, which again is written in .NET. So these are strong convictions on why I'm going with the Windows um, HPC. Uh, you forgive me if I said it, Windows, H F A Windows HFT. I meant Windows HPC, high performance computing uh, version of Windows. And uh, that looks like the way I'm going to go for now. And hopefully I'm choosing right. Um, and then I can also in easily integrate that into MATLAB that I'm currently using in my current environment. Uh, which generates all the reports that I have on the quantlabs.net uh, premium membership uh, uh, service for uh, my paying members. So that's the way I'm going, and that's the logic I'm using. So it's not about Microsoft versus Linux or which way is the better. I'm using the Windows uh, HPC just exclusively for this uh, HFT platform, high-frequency trading platform that I have access to and some other uh, tools and software that I have, which are all .NET. Okay, signing off for now. Have a good day.